located on the edge of the Caspian Sea. The old city of Baku dates back more than a thousand years. A maze of intertwining streets exists within the 12th century walls, which surround the old city. Dating back to the 15th century is the palace of the Shirvan Shahs. The ancient palace was restored in 2003 and the museum was added at this stage. Here we see the difference between the original stone blocks and the restoration. The museum section of the palace is small but interesting. Azerbaijan has a rug making tradition that goes back many centuries. While our guide explains to the group, we're sidetracked by the etchings of the leather plaques. I found this display quite fascinating. It blends traditional art with modern technology. I like the way that different parts of this old style picture were loop animated. Moving on from our visit to the palace and its mosque, we pass some of the many trading stalls along the streets. We pass the modern to go to the ancient. This is a caravanserai. Once a common feature along the old Silk Road routes, the caravanserai provided hospitality for traders and their animals. They were also places where trading of goods could take place. Our wandering around the various streets of the old city brings us to this display of archaeological remnants. It reminds us of the antiquity of the old city. There are a number of artists, studios and galleries in the old city. We take the opportunity for a quick visit to Ali Samsur's studio. The artist appears to have a particular interest and skill in painting pomegranates.
dominating the old city is the Maiden's Tower, sometimes known as the Virgin's Tower. This 30 metre high Zoroastrian style tower dates from at least the 12th century and most likely earlier. With walls 5 metres thick at their base, it was certainly a strong defensive position 